Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Identical Cloud. So far in the Jenkins series, we have seen how to install Jenkins using Docker and how to configure multi-branch pipeline in Jenkins. In today's video, we will see how to deploy Node.js code using Docker on the same machine as Jenkins. So let's get started. Firstly, let's see at the code structure. Here I have put the code in the development branch. Here in the build stage, the first command is docker build, which will build our docker file for this project. Let's look at the docker file. Docker file takes the official Node.js image, copy the package.json file, run npm install and install all the packages written in package.json file, expose port 3000 and then run node index.js file. Let's see what is in our index.js file. It is an express.js module which runs on 3000 port and on slash it prints hello world from identical cloud. Let's go back to the Jenkins file. So the first command will build our Docker image with the latest take and name Node.js demo. The deploy stage will remove the running container. If no container is running, then this command will fail. In that case, we are passing through so that the pipeline doesn't fail. In the next command, we run docker run with latest node.js image that we built just now. We expose port number 3000, we run it in daemon mode and we name it as node.js dash demo. So no matter how many times your new code is pushed, this script will keep on deleting your old container and it will run the new container. But to do this, there are two catch. First is Docker needs to be installed to build this container, to run this container, etc. So for that, we need to log in to the Jenkins Docker container and we need to install Docker. But there is one more thing before that. As you have noticed in a previous video where I explain how to install Jenkins using Docker, I have mounted two directories. One where Jenkins store the data, Jenkins home, and second is the log file. Now the Docker that we will install inside Jenkins container is fully isolated from whole server. So even if we run Docker container inside that and we expose 3000 number port, system won't know that some other Docker containers are running which are exposed to port 3000 and I should be driving traffic to that container. In that case, we cannot expose all the ports from Jenkins whenever we deploy any new code. So what we will do is, we will mount Docker socket file inside Jenkins container that will map outside Docker engine to the Jenkins' inside Docker engine and will consider both as a same running thread. Let's do that. The socket file in Ubuntu resides at this location. Let's save this. Let's keep the Jenkins down. Remember, in most cases, this is one time thing. Now our Jenkins container is up. Let's go to the container and install Docker. As you can see, Docker is not installed. You can install Docker Compose also the same way if you want. Docker is installed. Let's run Docker PS. We are still inside the Jenkins container. As you can see, we are still inside the Jenkins container, but we can see that Jenkins container is running with Docker. Now let's go ahead and create Jenkins pipeline for the same. Click on new item.
click on multi branch pipeline give your github url select credentials in discover branches i am just going to keep development for now keep other configuration as it is and apply it has started building the first pipeline let's look at the logs click on this symbol as you can see docker is installed as expected docker image is built even our container is deployed let's check if it is running on the port number 3000 yes as you can see we are getting response from the port 3000 now to show you how ci cd works let's go ahead and change this index.js file in the development branch i am going to edit this file let's change this from version 2 to version 3 and click on commit changes now let's go ahead click on build now build has started and it has completed let's refresh this page as you can see it prints v3 now so our ci cd flow for node js is completed The key pointers from this video is if you are running Jenkins using Docker container and you want to deploy more Docker containers on same server you need to install Docker inside Jenkins container and map your socket file from system to the Jenkins container So guys that's it for this video I hope it was useful to you If you like this video please like comment share and subscribe to my channel In the next video we will see how to deploy your code on different server using ssh Stay connected Thank you